Who is that? This? This is the end of the mystery. Well, well. If it wasn't for a jury of a certain persuasion, I'd have gotten away with it. A little treat for you this Sunday morning. I'm going to give you a whole string of words. Uh, feel free to put them together in any sentence that you choose. Uh, allegations. P. Felon. McCarthy. Doe. Mm. Gates. Don Chitsy Pantsy. Matt. Where should we go? Narcotics. The li to be fair, the list goes on. Uh, Kevin McCarthy is, well, I don't really know if he's trying to have his cake and uh, whack it around a felon. And at the same time, see if he can get Matt Gates in a whole pile of mess. To be honest with you, I'm just here enjoying every single second of it. The sad thing about it, okay, while Kevin McCarthy is playing politics and also sniffing and licking the uh, backside passage of former guy, look, I'm a Brit from the outside looking in, but being serious for a moment, there have to be situations which people this Sunday in America are really concerned about that affect their housing, their jobs, uh, infrastructure, health, schools, more than this circus. Is the circus really the best? Is that really what it's the answer? Something tells me no. Welcome back. We're back for more with former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Uh, Speaker McCarthy, uh, Mike Johnson, your successor, he recently faced an effort to try to oust him from the speakership. He stayed in the job because mm -hmm. Democrats yeah. essentially came to help him. Was that the right approach? Well, you look, uh, staying in the job is the right approach. He didn't give the Democrats anything. Uh, he had 11 Republicans vote against him. That's a challenge. Look, I don't, you had eight against I had eight, you. But I, I don't believe in the motion to vacate. I mean, think about what has transpired. These eight, the real question is you had eight Republicans work with all the Democrats to pick who the speaker was. And that's what's disrupted Washington mm -hmm. and really haven't been productive since. Uh, I wanted you to look at the, uh, you, it's been eight months, as we mentioned, mm -hmm. since that vote to oust you. There were eight, those are the eight Republicans that you mentioned. You see them on your screen. Mm -hmm. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see them? Dysfunction. You see the dysfunction? What yeah, I mean, they, they all do for different uh, things. I mean, the one leader is just trying to protect himself because of the ethics committee, and so uh -huh. that's all what it's all about. Yeah, um, yeah, but you are working with the Republican outside group. They're trying to oust to defeat some of these members in their primaries, and Gates being one of them. Um, are you on a, a political vengeance tour? No, I, you know, I know you guys try to say that. No, I, last week I went to Los Angeles, Orange County, San Diego, raising money for the Republican Party. I've been out. Look, it wasn't easy building this majority. Um, when I was elected leader, Nancy Pelosi was elected speaker. We won a majority by five. When when Republicans in the Senate lost both cycles, g Republican governors, legislators. Um, we won five new seats in California, five in um, New York. I'm proud of that fact. And it's a tough majority within there. This cycle, it's easier for Republicans to win this cycle than the last two cycles. And we won both cycles. But you want Gates to lose. Clearly, you're supporting his well, primary opponent. Why do you want him out? Just because it, Is it simply because he led the charge to, to push no, you No, I just don't think Gates is a conservative. I mean, and if you think about it, if there's anybody who should go to trial, I mean, Gates is one who should be convicted in a trial. Why? Why do you say that? <laughs> well, we all know the challenge here. You can't sleep with uh, underage women and think you can get away with it. And he it, denies that. Well, the, the women don't, and so there's people in jail because of it, and I think that's a place that people should have a court. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't think that as an individual should be represented in Congress. Now, I don't think the constituents would want that either. Now, Trump has endorsed him and mm -hmm. uh, Nancy Mace, who is another one of those Republicans who voted to oust you. Are you disappointed that the former president... No, look, look the, the people in that district couldn't make those decisions. I saw President Trump and Joyce, State Senator John McGuire and Navy SEAL in Virginia against Bob Good. I think that's a very important race, especially a Navy SEAL like John McGuire, a state senator in Virginia that served his country, is willing to serve again. But he's trying to help some of the people who pushed you out. That's all right. Everybody has their own opinion. Mm. Um, I just want to get back to on, on, the, on the Mike Johnson front. You know, he did rely, he relied on Democrats to pass a lot of his agenda. Um, do you think that he can remain as speaker in the next Congress? Yeah. It, it, listen, to remain speaker, you've got to keep the majority. So you've got to expand the majority. And the one thing, if you look at 
the last two cycles, all these political pundits said we would lose seats. The last time Biden was on the ballot, everybody projected that I would lose 15 seats. They got the party, <laughs> they got the number right, but the party wrong. It was the first time since 1994, no Republican lost. But do you think that he, Mike Johnson, is an effective speaker? Look, he's doing the best job he can as he goes through this. It's not an easy job. But winning seats solves a lot of problems. Remember, Joe Biden won the last presidency by 48,918 votes. His favorability was plus 10. It's minus 20 now. Before, people would say there's six to seven swing seats. No, this has expanded. If you looked at Virginia and New Hampshire, they're now tied in the presidential mm -hmm. race. Minnesota looks like it's in play. You look at the, the youth vote is now with Trump. You look at the Hispanic vote and the black American vote. This is an opportunity for Republicans to even expand further than they have before. They've got open seats in Michigan, Slotkin that we came close to winning. We'll pick up that seat. So you Spamberger, we'll pick up that seat. Three seats in North Carolina. We could pick up Alaska. This could be a 10-seat game. So it sounds like you don't think that the push to oust you has hurt the Republican Party. No, look, it's an individual within there. The party is bigger than any individual. Um, I think you've got to have a, a party that could actually govern um, they're in a disarray right now. They'll find, they'll find their groove and get back. Okay. Um, before we go, um, do you, uh, I wonder, you look back at your time as speaker. Do you miss being speaker of the house? Do you want to be, would you rather look, be I, in that position? I, I, I was, um, I, I was privileged to serve 17 years. It, it was an honor every single day. I loved every day I went. Even when you harassed me, I still <laughs> loved it. easy. It's no time. The judge could say time served. The judge can give him a conditional discharge, which is also no time. And the condition being you have to pay a fine. The maximum fine he could impose would be $5,000. And community service. I don't see that. Are we really going to have the former president going around uh, cleaning the parks, which years ago, people who might remember Naomi Campbell was sentenced to that. Yeah. Um, or it could be jail. And jail means a year or less. So Rikers Island. 30 days, or it could be the maximum is up to four years, which would mean state prison, prison, Attica, Sing Sing. Or it could be probation, where you would have to report to probation. This is going to be a tough decision for the judge. Is, is it possible to get home confinement? Or that that's not really a sentence that's given in New York, but a judge has discretion to do that as sort of like a part of your conditional discharge would be that, meaning you can only go... Basically, he won't be locked in Trump Tower, but he'd be limited. And I could see the judge not doing that because he is, assuming he's not sentencing to prison, running for office. But it's going to be hard because there are mitigating circumstances. I can only think of two. One, he's 78 years old. And the other one, he has no prior criminal convictions. But then you have all the so, aggravated So his lawyers could argue he's 77, 78 years old. But I thought he was the youngster in the his race. His lawyers thought, aren't going to argue I that. I thought they would argue that Biden was old. Now they're going to have to argue he's old? He won't let them do that. That's the problem. You know, if I were representing him, you know, which I wouldn't be, but you would say, Your Honor, my client is 78 years old. He's not going to let them do that. The aggravating circumstances is he has three open indictments in three different jurisdictions. He has civil liability. He was found liable for sex abuse, right. for defamation, for fraud, involving the Trump University, involving the Trump organization. So, and he's also violated this own judge's gag order multiple times. He violated the gag order in the civil fraud trial. So those are a lot of aggravating circumstances that might lean to, okay, you're someone who should get some type of uh, right. incarceration.